Friends, welcome back in the Golden Tea Lounge. Kevin Lindsay here. It is time to take a look at this week's classic course of the week. It is none other than Desert Valley Resort, our Las Vegas course. Ironic because this weekend is the massive return of the Golden Tea World Championship after almost three years. Hole one here in Desert Valley. Sometimes drivable. Also, uh, you might have a much better chance of it being drivable when you don't hit trees, but you guys should be used to the way I play Golden Tee terribly by now. Um, 2015 Classic Course here. Play for prizes all week long in states where prize play is allowed. This is a fun course. I, there's only a few holes that I can think of off the top of my head on Desert Valley that may be challenging or difficult hole 10 par 5 is one of them uh, a lot of the difficulty on this course really depends on the pins and the tees um, how far back you end up going uh, because some of these par 5s can be pretty long uh, hole what is that 16 I believe the par 5 is pretty lengthy as well this one here, number four, this is, of course, one of the longer boxes. In certain setups, you can actually blast it all the way down there, um, way past there, and you don't have to worry about finessing your second shot in for eagle. Or finessing your second shot to putt in for eagle. But let's see how we can do here. So 334, not too bad here. You can go right to left, although you have to worry about the trees. If you just do this, go left to right, you're going to end up with a bit of a putt. That's okay. Um, you're at least putting for eagle. It's about 85 feet. Oh, wow. Look at that, 84 feet, and I somehow made the putt. Sorry for those of you that will be in Las Vegas this weekend. Classic course of the week is not eligible for competition play uh, so you're going to have to uh, get those desert valley games in on the side whenever you have time we are playing in production so you may see a few familiar names and faces um, I just think it's so much more fun that way because in the off chance I actually beat a top guy, I can say, ha, finally gotcha. Um, but honestly, you could get out there, goldentee.com slash locations to find a game near you. Uh, Jeff Harlow, former world champion with uh, a three better after six holes, if I'm looking at that correctly. Uh, wow. For a guy who's not going to be able to make it out to Vegas, he's playing pretty damn well the week of Worlds. So maybe we can convince Jeff Harlow. Um, to make his way out to Vegas. Plenty of spots still open. Oh, that was actually a pretty nifty shot. Um, plenty of spots open. Right now, eight official open spots in the Arcade World Championship that we're going to be filling on Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. We're having two separate closest to the pin contests, by the way. We're going to have one for the players that are already qualified there and then a separate one for the non-qualified players so if you're trying to get in one of those world championship qualifying spots you don't have to worry about facing Andy Haas or Paul Luna or Joe Massar or Evan Goss any of those people uh, you just get to compete against the other 50 to 100 or more players that make that trek to Vegas for the world championship See if a little backhand can get me an eagle here on nine. Eh, nope. Close enough though. Alright, 14 after nine, not too shabby uh, unless you see Jeff Harlow with crazy three better after nine. Although I didn't see if he was still three better, but it's Jeff Harlow. So I have to imagine he is. Whole 10 here this is that par 5 I was talking about not really a tricky look here um, 
actually, if you get to that last spot, you usually will get lined up pretty well. You just have to throw it out there to the left to avoid those big trees. Having the 10 mile an hour wind blowing to the right also uh, helps that profusely. Still three better, and somehow I'm better than a few of the, oh, look at that. I know those, ga those names. That's nice. Hole 11 here, non-drivable par four. Unless you're playing in Golden Tee Mobile, this is drivable. Uh, but this is one of those fun courses that is in Golden Tee Mobile. It's in Golden Tee Arcade. So if you're waiting to get on the machine at your local watering hole, download GT Mobile on your Apple or uh, Android device, and you could practice before you literally go and practice on Desert Valley. Let's see. You know what? We're going to release this in there. And my reasoning for doing that was hoping the hole would get in the way. Uh, it's not awful. It's not great. It's not awful, though. All right, hole 13, this is where things start to get dicey. Unfortunately, we are farther back in the tee box than I was hoping. Wind is blowing left to right, which does us no good. There are times where you can just blow past here and not even have to mess with that middle area of the fairway. I'm just going to put a little release on it. The bigger concern here is not necessarily me getting there on there in two, although that can happen. It's this uh, pin position. So I'm going to just go ahead, put back to my 10 after your driver. I'm going to throw it out purposely to the right. I just want to get it on that green. And I just have a one have opportunity at Eagle. Probably uh, a bit farther away than I would like. Wow. I don't know the last time I actually made long putts in one video. That's uh, that's a lot. Okay. All right, I'll take it. 111-foot putt, that's all you need there on hole 13 to get the eagle. Hole 14, drive with par 4. You can go to the right-hand side here. I've never done it, uh, at least not successfully or well. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to hit a 10 after degree driver with a little bite. I did not get that out far enough somehow. So it looks like we're going to be chipping here. Which is not a bad attempt at 77 yard chip off of sand. Uh, not ideal. Let's see how Jeff Harlow's doing. Oh, Jeff Harlow. Still three better. Man's a machine. I'm going to have to text him after this and say, uh, are you sure you're not going to Worlds? Because your play does not make it seem like that. Hole 15. This is one of those par threes that uh, can get a little dicey, which is why I just threw a three wood up there. Even if you land on the hill, most of the time, I can't guarantee it, throw that putter right off the hill in the cup and move on and hope for the best. Hole 16, this is the other par 5 that I was talking about that can be challenging. Uh, it's also going to be challenging if you somehow overhit it and land in the water. Because the drop spot is pretty awful. We're going to take our birdie with pride though. Can't be mad at Jim Z. Just mad at apparently having muscles that I thought I forgot about. All right, hole 17, this is a drivable par four. This one is a fun one, although the wind is not set up to be too fun here. I was hoping for more 16 mile an hour wind actually blowing to the left because I am using grabbers. No, no wind cutting balls here, so I'm not really sure why, why that got ate up like that, but that's okay. I wasn't going to be anywhere close to the top of the leaderboard anyways. I am more interested in Jeff Harlow. Okay, so he birdied that one. No, did he? Oh, 
I can't tell anymore. And then we go to hole 18, the famous drivable part, uh, 18th hole. Oh, I thought I had a shot. I think, I don't know if Andy Haas did that with a driver. Somebody aced this hole with a driver. Uh, my score already is terrible. So that's all right. We wanted to have fun with it. Golden.com slash locations to find a 2021 game near you. Get out there and play our Las Vegas course, Desert Valley Resort. And join us back here for more Golden Tee action all week long as we head to Las Vegas for the Golden Tee Arcade and Mobile World Championships. Thanks for joining. We'll see you guys soon.